Hello everybody, my name is Neva and my partners are Alexander and Isabel and today we will be going over pregnancy in fish and mammals. So today we will be going over how fishes get pregnant and have their babies compared to how animals get pregnant and have their babies. We will be focusing on guppies which is a common fish that you can get at pet stores and can keep at a tank in your house and dolphins which are a wild animal that live in the ocean. So my first question for you guys is, are dolphins fish? So think about this. What are some similarities between dolphins and fish? What are some differences between dolphins and fish? So some similarities are that dolphins and fish both live in the water and they have streamlined bodies and fins. However, they are very different. Some differences are that dolphins need to come up to breathe, live birth their babies, and need blubber to keep warm, while fish, specifically guppies, are able to adjust to the water's temperature, can lay eggs, and can get oxygen from the water they're in. So what's the answer? Dolphins are not fish, they are actually mammals. So now let's look more deeply into how fish reproduce. So there's three types of reproduction for fish, oviparous, viviparous, and ovoviviparous. So firstly, oviparous fish, their fertilization is external, which means that the female fish lays her eggs and they are fertilized by the male. The eggs could be deposited on the bottom of the tank or ocean, float, stick to rocks, or in nests made by the mom. In viviparous fish, fertilization is internal, meaning the male fish will fertilize the eggs inside the mom's body, and when the baby fish, or fry, are completely formed, the mother fish will give birth to them. And lastly, for ovoviviparous fish, fertilization is internal, but the mother fish lays the eggs, and then they are born as they are being hatched. So as the mom is giving birth to the eggs, the babies are coming out of the eggs. So now that we've learned a little bit more about how fish reproduce, how can you tell if your guppy is pregnant and going to have babies? So first of all, she will develop a dark spot under her tail called the gravid patch. And as her babies grow, the gravid spot will get bigger and become darker. When the mom fish is ready to have her babies, the spot will be black and the guppy will look fat. Some other signs are that she will be hungrier or not want to eat. She will want to be around the warm part of the tank and she will look kind of square-ish. So now it should be baby time. When your guppy is ready to have her babies, she needs to have two tanks. One tank will be where the babies stay as they grow and one is where the mom fish recovers. So how long will it take for your guppy to have her fry? A guppy mom will take from two to 12 hours having all her babies. Alrighty, here's a video that I found that shows the stages of a guppy pregnancy. I know that it's kind of hard to understand um, the terminology that I'm talking about, so here is kind of a visual so you can see the changes that a guppy mom will go through through her pregnancy. After the fish are born, when they are babies, they are called fry. The fry need to eat a lot. They can eat as many as five times a day. The more they eat, the healthier they will be when they grow up. Also, after the fry are born, they need to be kept in a separate tank until they grow large enough to be able to live with the other fish. Like other mammals, bottlenose dolphins reproduce through internal fertilization, similar to that of viviparous fish, and the mother dolphin will carry her babies till she's ready to give birth to them. Time for some random facts. First is that dolphins are very loving toward each other, and they will often chase each other around and nibble on their crush to profess their love. Second is that they are also very playful. They will give their crushes heart eyes and lie on their sides when they are in love. Alright, so how can we tell if a dolphin is going to be a mom? 
Much like in humans, we can tell if they're pregnant by using a pregnancy test, an ultrasound, or even just by taking a closer look at their bodies. An ultrasound is a machine that uses a camera-like device to create sound waves and collect sound waves that bounce back to create an image. Much like echolocation, actually. Here's a video of an ultrasound being used on a dolphin to see the little baby dolphin inside. Once the dolphins are ready to have the baby, which is usually after about 12 months, they'll start going into labor. This means their body is ready to have the baby. You can tell they're going into labor by observing their behavior. Labor can be very uncomfortable, so dolphins usually get grumpy and tired, so they might stay closer to the bottom of the water. They might also want to be petted for comfort. And they might, want to, they might be swimming oddly in the water, like swimming on their sides or just in strange patterns. They'll also experience contractions, which is basically the body contracting in an attempt to push the baby out. These can be somewhat painful, so it's easy to tell if the dolphins are going into labor just by looking at them. On the next slide is a video of a dolphin giving birth to its baby. Now that the baby is born, the mom will take care of them by feeding them milk. The babies will rely on the milk for about two to three years until they are old enough to learn how to catch fish on, the, on their own. Different dolphin moms will have different mothering styles. Some will feed their babies for only a couple years, while others feed them for over five years. Some of them will teach the babies to fish pretty early on. Others will take a little bit longer to push them towards that direction. Um, some mothers will keep their babies super close to them to keep an eye on them so to keep them safe. And other dolphin moms are a little more lenient and they'll let them swim around with more with the other dolphins. These babies will grow up alongside their families in groups known as pods until they are old enough to make families of their own.